Sancho, and this week we're going to do Animals of Australia. We're to see him, how to touch him, and some animals that you might not think you'd find in Australia. We did the dirty work for you. So we're going to tell you where to check him out. Now let's begin with the animal that you'll think of first. When you think of Australia, Jade, what animals do you think of? I think of the kangaroo. So let's tell you how to get up close and personal with a kangaroo. Woohoo! First of all, you're going to see them in every zoo. So if you're in a big city like Sydney, Melbourne, anywhere, um, they're going to have them in the zoos. Also, a really great place to see more of them in the wild is... Kangaroo Island. Now, Kangaroo Island, keep in mind, has just about any type of animal that you're going to see. It's south. It's an island just south of Australia. You can get there by a ferry, by a plane, all that kind of stuff. Kangaroo Island has uh, different conservancies where you can go see animals that are in the open range but more controlled. But if you just travel the island on a 4x4, say, you're going to see kangaroos in the wild. Yeah. Uh, TourKangarooIsland.com gives you a must list of seeing all the animals and the experiences that are on the island. So check that site out for a more personal uh, experience. And we also found the blog where they talk about Kangaroo Island, more of the personal experience as far as just the ins and outs of the island. So yeah, check that out as well. What they did on the day-to-day -day basis. Now, if getting up close and seeing a kangaroo in the wild isn't close enough for you, you can eat one. If you're on in pizza. Sydney, you can go to Australia, the Australian hotel and get a kangaroo pizza. So yeah. check that out. It broke my heart to eat that delicious meat. So you're going to see kangaroos no matter what. Yeah. If you're looking for animals at all. Yes. Now what's another animal you think of when you think of Australia? Oh, um, koala! They're so cute and cuddly. Um, the place that I want to go see them is at the Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary. Um, BigHoneyDog.com talks about their experience. They had a really great experience. They have a video of them holding it. The koalas are the most active I've ever seen koalas in my life before. Um, and they're actually used to human contact, so they're friendly. Whereas in New South Wales... You can't touch them. In New South Wales, there's a ban. It's controversial. Uh, Big Honey Dog talks about it a little bit on her site. Um, just keep in mind, if you go to the Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary, it is an extra charge to hold the koalas. But it might be worth it. They are really cute. They're really cute. What if you want to see a koala in the wild? I would go to Magnetic Island. You would. So would the RoadForks.com. <laughs> they is. talk all about it. You can also see penguins there. Yeah, they saw a little penguin in the bushes. How cute is that? Um, okay, what is another animal that you think of? Mm, probably the Tasmanian Devil. So do I! Oh my <laughs> goodness! Um, oh my gosh! In Tasmania, there is the Tasmanian Devil Sanctuary at Cradle Mountain. And it offers tours daily and nightly, which, in my opinion, they should only offer the nightly ones because Tasmanian Devils are nocturnal. So you can go take these tours, feed them, see them active. How cute is that? And if you hate tours, you can just roam the grounds and find them on your own. This is a really great sanctuary to, that takes care of Tasmanian Devils uh, as well as exhibits them. Keep in mind, you're going to see Tasmanian Devils just about in every zoo you go to. But the best place to see them again is in Tasmania, which is just south of Australia. Another animal that I think of when I think of Australia is the crocodile. I blame Crocodile Dundee, but I was about four years old when that movie came out, and I loved it. Um, anyway, TravelGeneration.com lists the best places to see crocodiles in Australia. Our two favorites are Mary River in the Northern Territory. They have the highest number of wild saltwater crocodiles in the world. Um, you can take a cruise on the river and see them in their natural habitat. Or also, his favorite... Crocosaurus Cove in, in Darwin, Darwin, Australia. <laughs> They'll put you in a cage and drop you in the water with a 15-foot crocodile that won't tear you apart, but you get up close and personal to it. It's um, probably the closest you're going to get to a crocodile and live to tell the tale. Is this exploitation? I don't think so, because it's so awesome. <laughs> It's Crocosaurus. It's Crocosaurus. While we're talking about more amphibious animals, let's go ahead and talk about things you want to see in the water. Yeah. You should go to the Great Barrier Reef. You're going to see fish, turtles, crabs, stingrays, sharks, dolphins, coral. Almost every type of animal you can imagine underwater is going to be there at the Great Barrier Reef. Nomadic Matt actually talks about some great tips on how to scuba dive, things to look at when you're looking at tours. But you can also snorkel the Great Barrier Reef, which is what I'm going to do because I'm not scuba certified. Yeah. For more of a specific experience, why not go tangle with some sharks? Ooh, sounds scary. Well, you don't have to be scared because at the... Ningaloo <laughs> Reef's whale shark experience, we believe that's how you say it. Yeah. Uh, we have the largest shark in the world, and it is a filter feeder. So it would not eat you or me. Um, it would just eat 
um, plankton and stuff because it swims with its mouth open. So you can go out in the water and you can paddle around with this giant vegetarian killer. There you it's go. It's not a killer though. Killer vegetarians. Okay. Um, and also, while you're there, another thing you're probably going to see is sea lions and seals. And dolphins. <laughs> if you go to Barrett Bay, um, gray, the gourmet gray nomads .com, uh, they talk about their personal experience snorkeling with the animals in their natural habitat. But beware, definitely take a tour. Sharks lurk around in this area because they eat sea lions and dolphins. So make sure you're with a with a well knowledgeable tour guide. What they do actually in the one that this site talks about is they wear an anklet that emits a sonar ping that drives the sharks away so it's safe. Yes. Um, now we're going to talk about some animals you might not expect to see. One we've already touched on is the penguin. Where could I find the penguin in Australia? A couple different places. Probably Kangaroo Island. Definitely Kangaroo Island. Um, but also where would you go? What is the number two biggest tourist attraction in Australia? Phillip Island. The Penguin Parade. Oh. But if you want to see penguins come on shore at night, they're nocturnal when they return, you will want to go see the Phillip Island Penguin Parade. Yeah. AwayTogether.com talks about how they didn't like it, but that they actually took a walk a little bit later and found a ton of penguins just under a walkway. Um, so they actually got kind of a little up close and personal, personal experience. Personal experience, even though they didn't think they were going to have Just that. keep your eyes open and you will see the penguins in their natural habitat. Another animal that I'm surprised is in Australia is a camel. And I was blown away. Yeah. I had no idea camels were in Australia. Yeah, and they actually have the largest wild camel population in the world. Um, and they actually weren't even introduced to Australia until 1860. There's two really great places to see them in Alice Springs, Uluru area. They have rides around the Great Big Rock. And um, there's actually a couple camel farms there. So they have plenty of camels for you to choose from. And another really great one is at Cable Beach in Brome. They have sunset camel rides on the beach, and that seems like the way I would want to do it. That is fascinating. Yes. Now, like we said in the top of the show, there's lots of other animals, such as the wombat and the bandicoot, that we did so not mention cute. here that you'll see in zoos. If you go to our site, we have other links for places you are likely to see these animals in the wild. Yeah. And other sanctuaries that we think you should check out. Yeah. Before we go, though, we're going to tell you what we personally are most excited about seeing in Australia as far as animals. I really want to see koalas. I love them. They're so cute since I was a small child. Um, and I probably want to go to the Australia Zoo, which is Steve Irwin's zoo. And it's won tons of awards recently. It's just getting better and better. Um, really great zoo. What about you? I want to see the duck-billed platypus. It is the only venomous mammal. So we found one site, platypustours.com, that guarantees if they take you out on one of their kayak tours, you will see a platypus in the wild or you get some of your money back. Awesome. Pretty great deal, I think, to see a duck with a platypus. Well, that's it for today. Uh, check us out at vagabond3.com and we'll see you in two weeks.